Hello everyone. This is my submission for the Hagaday Prize 2021. It's a 6502 single board computer with 50 by 29 lines of glorious monochrome green on black VGA output. And it's perfect for trying 6502 assembly on real hardware. At this time, it's capable of outputting movie references, reading, writing, as well as executing 6502 assembly code. What I'm doing here is I'm writing to address 30 and 31. What I'm actually writing is a pointer which uh, controls the run address. So I'm writing E080 and that corresponds to the address 80E0. So when I type run, it starts executing code at that address. And that address just happens to correspond to the monitor subroutine. So, why did I make this? The 6502 was one of the most common microprocessors of the 70s and 80s. It ran the Apple I, the Apple II, the Atari 800, the Commodore PET, and even the Commodore 64 had a variant of it, along with a lot of other computers of that time. So, why would I make a computer that's been mostly outdated since about 1979? Well, reduce, reuse, and recycle. Because we have a global chip shortage and certainly no shortage of microprocessors and peripherals from 40 years ago, instead of buying a new development board that'll end up in a, in a dump when you're done with it anyway, you can make this with old parts and even make something useful out of it. It's also because it's an amazing learning experience and a much easier way to learn key concepts than trying to tear apart an STM32. With a 6502, suddenly ROM, RAM, stack, 16-bit addressing, memory mapped I.O. and DMA aren't obfuscated away inside a tiny package, and for me, that makes it much easier to learn all the basic concepts. The 50 characters by 29 lines of graphics comes from the VGA port on the back, where you'll also find a micro USB or barrel jack for 5 volt power. The board has the data and address lines broken out on the right, it has a reset button in the middle and the 6522 ports on the left. This makes it fantastically easy to interface I.O. and other devices. Uh, for the next revision, I plan to break out a few more signals like the I.O. chip select, the read write and the Phi 2, as well as an NMI button. I've already had some fun interfacing it to some modern spy devices and um, not much is in the way of using it instead of a modern MCU, except maybe for the 2 MHz speed limit. The project is uh, open source, so you can even make one for yourself, so uh, check it out on GitHub. If you'd like to hear more about my adventures with this computer, let me know and uh, check out the links in the description. I might show off a few projects I've been working on. Thanks for watching.